What size copper conductors would you select for a 2 horsepower, 115 volt AC single phase motor terminating to 75 degree C terminals? And the correct answer is 10 gauge wire. Now for this one, we have several steps. When sizing normal motor conductors, you will use the FLC, which is the full load current, values from table 430.248 for single phase and table 430.250 for three phase. Then you're going to multiply that FLC by 125%. Then we're going to use our primary opacity table to size our wire based off the column that the question states the terminals are rated for in degrees Celsius. Let's walk through it step by step. First, we're going to head to 430.248 because our question specified single phase. We're going to find our horsepower on the left, which was 2. We're going to come across the top and tee off with our voltage. And then when we drop down, it's going to let us know our FLC. That's going to be our starting value. Then, according to NEC 430.22a, the conductor supplying a single motor must have an ampacity of not less than 125% of the motor's full load current rating. So we take our original 24 amps, we multiply it by 1.25, and that is gonna equal 30. Now we need to head to our primary opacity table. And once we get there, we're gonna start on the left-hand side because the question specified copper, and this is the copper side of the table. We'll come down here on the left-hand side, or excuse me, the easier way to do this question, we're actually gonna do it in reverse. We're gonna start at the 75 degree C column, and then come down and find our first wire that will cover our known load, which is 30 amps. And we're going to find that when you get to 12 gauge, it's only good for 25 in the 75 degree. So we're going to need to upsize that to the next size, which is good for exactly 30 amps. And that's going to be uh, our wire that we choose. And then we need to slide over and we're going to find out that it's actually a 10 gauge wire. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add a little bit of value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. If there's anything you need from me, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.